let's talk about the costs of the bar and soy seven in Patera that I was running. That's what this video is about. I've gone through some books I did have and some figures and roughly worked it out. Now, different types of beer bars in Thailand. Um, when you're walking around, you see the ones. There's the small little bars in a circle, maybe a hexagon, that are right out in the middle, open air. I'm thinking Phuket in the some of the back streets there. Little minute bars, open plan. Then you've got the ones in Soy Seven further up, where they're um, they're sort of open plan. They're not a building, but they're quite a good sized bar with seating at the front, under a cover, and they could be wooden bars. But you know the type I mean, these sort of open bars. There's those type. Then there's open bars which are concrete made, uh, permanent structures which have got shutters and things that pull down. And then you've got the ones like the, the one I had in which in Soy Sound, which was a building with shutters at the front. Now, I've had a quick look around. Again, up 2017, I'm not sure of the prices. But when you get a beer bar in anywhere in Thailand, if you're buying one, now I never bought one, so I'm not 100% sure of this, guys. If you want to drop some comments and correct me, feel free. But you might have heard the expression key money when you're buying a bar. You're not actually owning the bar. You're giving money to the owner to have a lease. That's called key money for them to give you the key to the bar. And I believe, I believe you get that money back, but I'm not sure. Uh, please correct me. Let me know. If let's say I am correct and you, you get an open bar and you've given them say they might be a million baht, twenty thousand pound, twenty five thousand pound to get a key uh, a bar in a good area in whichever town. Um and I'm thinking you get that money back. But let's say you've whichever type of bar you, you get in and buy in, you, you give your key money and you get a lease. That bar's then yours to do with what you like for year, two, three years, whatever. But you still got to pay rent every might be weekly might be monthly yearly whatever you set up with the owner um monthly is the most common i believe so back in my day i i, I didn't own the bar it, my bosses did but i did see the numbers um and some of my friends showed me their numbers so an open bar back in 2000 2002 in patea was about 8,000 baht a month for a small little open bar in a good area. And then the slightly enclosed ones, which were concrete structures, were about 10, 12,000 baht, say in Soy 8. Um, and then moving up to the, to the uh, bar that I had. Now, ours was a lot more money because we had about five or six rooms upstairs. So you could have made it a guest house. Um, but because my boss knew the owner, friends and everything, she did all the work. So we were paying 20,000 baht a month for the bar, which I think was quite good, considering those five rooms and things, it was cheap. It could have, it might have been, it should have been 30,000 baht a month possibly. And because they were French, gave us discount. So I'm basing it on what we actually paid, which was 20,000 baht a month for this bar. And that was the rent for the building. And then I've worked some numbers out. I'm not gonna write them all on the screen, but I'll just run through the bills we had, and I'll give you the, the totals and you can see. Um, we had salaries. So Mama San was 14,000 a month. Mine was 22,000 a month. The cashier we had was 3,000 a month, which was cheap, but she got a room upstairs with her fella, um, who also worked for my boss on the money side. So 3,000 a month for the cashier. Two bar girls, Toya and the other tomboy, was 6K a month each, so 12,000 baht. We had 3,000 baht electric and miscellaneous. Now, we eventually stuck to 10 girls full time and we did find some freelancers later on. And the girls, we were paying them 3,000 baht a month salary, but they were then getting a kickback on lady drinks I think it was 20 baht for every lady drink they sold. And bar fines, ours was 300 bar fine, they were getting 100 back. So we were making 200 baht each bar fine. And each lady drink, we were making about 60 baht. So the salary for those 10 girls, three grand each, was 
was 30,000 baht a month. So our total for that whole bar, for everything, for one month, was 104,000 baht. Now, that sounds a lot. Um, but if you break it down into four weeks of the month, say, that was 26,000 baht a week, the costs, uh, which equates down again to about three and a half thousand baht a day was the running cost to break even. Now, we were open 10 in the morning, we were closing two in the morning. That seems to be quite average on a lot of bars. Most of your traffic footfall is gonna be late afternoon and through the evening and night. Um, now I've averaged again, beers, shorts, as in, you know, vodka, coke, we used to make about 60 baht on. A beer, roughly 40 baht a beer. You make money on the bar fines, say 200 baht. Um, so if all 10 girls were gone out the door, that's 2,000 baht profit for the bar. You haven't got to sell many beers then, but they didn't, they'd only get bar fined each girl, apart from the top ones. Some of them only once a week, some twice a week. So you didn't get a huge amount with bar fines. The, um, you, the way I worked it out is we had to sell about 90 beers a day, um, including shorts, vodkas and gin and everything else. But if you got bar fines, then that come off that figure. And uh, lady drinks, there was more profit as well. But just as a, a ballpark, let's say, let's say 80 drinks a day. So you need to get 80 drinks a day sold to cover that bigger bar. Now, if you've got one of the smaller bars that the costs would be, and you didn't have girls, because quite a few bars don't have girls, they just get freelancers come in. You can get your costs probably down to about 40, 50,000 baht a month. In which case, you've only got to sell 20, 30 beers a day. So you can see from those numbers that you can make a living, but you need to make more, those are just to break even all these numbers. To give yourself a salary for food, you know, you, your room, you've got to rent, your food to live there, your visas, your going out money. You really need, need to double your costs so you've got a, a salary and a living. But I know one guy who's in Hua Hin, he's got a very small bar and his total cost, no girls, anything, is only 22,000 baht a month for his bar. And he takes... Uh, about 12 13,000 profit a month that's all on top of the costs but it's enough for him to live there and he's been there for or maybe 10 years and he's happy with that lifestyle so you can live in Thailand on a small bar if you do it right but it's all about keeping costs down as soon as you start employing girls like we did and staff that's where the costs go through the roof and then you've really got to get the people in the door and as I've said in other ones, you do that with the pool competitions, the dartboard, anything you can. Now in my day, again, 2000, 2002, we had the internet, but it was only, it was pretty new still back then. You didn't have the explosion of Facebook and social media. If I'd have had social media now, back in those days, I could have easily um, doubled the bar takings, I think, with events and things and coordinating with other bars, doing things together. So that, that makes your life a little bit easier. But there's a lot of downsides, remember, to bars. There is quite a few pitfalls, and you've got to be careful. You're always sat in those bars all the time, keeping an eye on everything. Who do you trust? All that sort of stuff. Anyway, that's another video altogether. So there we go. That's the costs of the bar I had in Soy 7 that I managed. Uh, we had to sell 90 beers a day, 80, 90 beers a day. That's a lot of beer, or coffees, or gin, or vodka, but that's still a lot. But if you've got one customer come in and start ringing the bell, you can go, sky's the limit. A couple of you asked me, ringing the bell, what's the bell, what's all that about? I will do a, a video on the bell, and there's even some new guys coming on, what's bar fines and all the basics. Uh, if you want me to do some basic videos, give me a shout on the comments below, I will. But yeah, it was interesting going through those numbers again from, from my past. For the year and nine months I was in that bar before I left, 
we the, the owner said to me as long as we break even I don't care I'm not fussed about a profit we broke even every month for that year and nine months I was in that bar but we didn't make a lot of profit we didn't make a lot bits and pieces but nothing special so the owner didn't really lose but she did put a lot of money in the renovation at the beginning and I don't think she ever got that back so hmm yeah if it had been a bar ready to go she just got it we could have made a bit of a profit but we employed quite a few people for a year and nine months and it went on after I left someone else took over the manager's job and it went on for another couple of years before it started changing hands every month there you go costs of running my bar in Soy 7 catch you soon please all the comments below again any questions and stuff I'll try and answer them and uh, loving you guys interaction it's brilliant really good catch you on the next one bye for now